in Chicago. No, yeah, well, it's the lamb. Except, uh... Except what? Except for times like this. You working now? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Mind if I join you? Do I have a choice? No. I'm assuming you were the person I was sent here to meet? Yeah. I'm here to take care of you, but, uh, not necessarily how you're thinking. And how am I thinking? Then I'm here to whack you. What? It's like this. I got a gun under the table. We're gonna cool it here a while till I get a call on that phone over there. And when I do, either I squeeze a few rounds into you, or I uh, reach in my pocket and hand you a plane ticket. Just I got is uh, something went down a week and a half ago and it involved you. I'm here to make sure you stay put till it's all hashed out. What if I get up and try to walk out of here? It's like this. You sit there, you live. You get up, you die. That phone rings, you're still breathing if you're an honest man. It's a little more complicated than that, Gus. Yeah? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm not paid to think. So you gonna run on me? Now. Good. Maybe as well get some. Probably gonna be here a bit. you're gonna have a gun pointed at my balls. Till I get the call. Already told you that. Real question is why do I have a gun aimed at your balls? What he didn't tell you? He? You, you mean she, don't you? It was abroad. Kinda sexist, don't you think? What? Calling her abroad? No, assuming it's a guy automatically. Okay. Why don't we just say we never hooked up? I'll pay you double and disappear. Can't do that. What? You suddenly have scruples? Hey. I always have scruples. When I take a job I do it right. Really? That changes in four years, huh? That was different. Look at it from this chair, and it doesn't feel all that different. You and I are staying put. History's got nothing to do with this situation. Not even if I pay you double and vanish. Look, you can still tell her you did the job. Yeah, what happens if the call comes? I'm supposed to stick you on a plane. Tell her you did that, too. Anyway, no one's gonna see me again. Who's gonna know? I will. No deal. Not even for double the money? Not even for triple the money. You're not a very good businessman, are you, Gus? Look, this ain't exactly the most comfortable situation for me either, but that's where we are. I took the job, you are the job. So, you're getting paid the same whether you let me go or kill me? Yep. How much you getting? I'm not telling you. Really? Because I'd like to know. I mean, good or bad, right or wrong, I've lived 42 years. And I'd like to know what dollar amount that boils down to. Can I get you guys anything else? How about a cheeseburger and an order of onion rings? You want more water? You got quite the smart lip there, princess. You want maybe I should uh, round up a stapler and add your looks? What are you going to order more fucking food for? A guy's got a whole pad full of your shit and you're not even finishing it. I eat when I'm bored, that's all. So now I'm boring? No, you're just a bundle of excitement. In fact, even if you didn't have a gun pointed at my pecker, I'd probably sit and listen to your theories on life all night long. You know, you take everything I say and you twist it around. You keep ordering food even though you know I'm hungry. You're really starting to piss me off, Elf. If that call comes, it's not good news for you. There's a whole lot of ways you can leave this life. Some of them hurt more than others. You might want to think about that. Fucking night's gonna drive my blood pressure through the roof.
What do you got? Pineapple sour cream. It's fine. And the coffee, black. Is it fresh? Yeah, man. It's fresh. I got two squatters over there sucking it down faster than I can make it. Received en route. That could have been bad. Look, your situation doesn't seem all that bad to me at this point, considering that broad who hired me hasn't pinned you after all this time or else got whacked herself. What do we do then? Supposed to let you live unless they hear otherwise. If they don't hear otherwise, they don't pull the trigger. It's that simple. How is that simple? Just is. Why wasn't it that simple in Chicago? Because you weren't in Chicago, you were here. That's why we're dipping our ravioli in spaghetti sauce instead of marinara. I'm talking about four years ago. How could you give me a heads up back then, but now you're all business and nothing but? You had more reason to kill me back then. I had authority over you. Now I'm just a loser playing gopher for somebody else in another city. What are you, strapped for cash or something? Nah, it's nothing like that. You can't say no to a woman, is that it? I, I just don't feel comfortable about this. Why? Why? How can you turn your back on a hit four years ago, but you're all ready to do it now? I pity you. You what? I pity you. Pity? Come on. The guys are starting to make fun of you. The respect was gone. I mean, yeah, you were number three, but you were soft. Every time you walked into a room, it was like somebody dumped a bucket of blood in a pool of sharks. Everybody else smelled it except for you. And the word on his contract came out. I gotta admit, the money was tempting, but, uh, you know, he's been good to me. So I figured I'd give you a break and give you the heads up. So you changed my life. I didn't change your life. I saved it. You didn't save my life. I loved my life in Chicago. I hate it here. Yeah, I'm still breathing. Yeah, I have a pulse. But my life in Chicago is gone. My place in the order of things is gone. You don't have to open up a man's chest or splatter his brains all over the wall to kill a guy, Gus. So you were ruined either way. Is that what you're telling me? And here I thought I was doing you a favor, and you could have been better off, and I could have been 30 G's richer. I'm just saying, not everything turns out the way it seems. Well, I made a decision then. I made a decision now. Right or wrong, that's where we're at, and ain't nothing going to change either. You know, it's sad to hear that uh, things didn't work out for you, though, Al. I mean, really, it is. I mean, all the ways I ever imagined things turn out for you. Never quite like this. <laughs> 